Hello, welcome, um, or welcome back. It's so good to see you. Today, we have some really good techniques for you. Um, I am going up against a person who has a wrestling background. So we found some really interesting things uh, during this role. If you have a wrestler at your school, or if you're ever in a competition against a wrestler, these techniques will definitely help you. And this is the first technique that we're going to go over here. This is a arm bar from Side Turtle. All right, so let's let's get you there first. So what you want to pay attention to is how do you see how I'm holding his biceps? and swimming for inside position. Inside position is key, and at the same time, harassing the head is really helpful, and using that forearm frame helps give you distance to, be, to defend against them accessing your legs, which as a wrestler, people, they're, they're gonna wanna get your legs. Here is a guillotine setup. So you're basically guiding their head into your arm, and then while they're defending the guillotine, that's a perfect time to do a snap down. And for a snap down, the movement that I, you see here, it's almost like a sprawl, how I jumped backwards in order to create enough space. And then from referee's position, if you're going up against a wrestler especially, they're gonna feel safe in referee's position because that's like the starting point. Um, and you know, typically you don't hear of it, like straight up attacks from there, but weaving the legs in, in order to isolate that arm. It's tricky, try it. All right, next. Anytime you're going with a wrestler, especially if they're around your same weight class, give or take, you know, 20, 30%, it's always fun <laughs> to try to double leg them because you know their defense is gonna be so good. So look how he immediately gets his legs away from me. And this is, this is a really good tip here. Do you see how I slide my knee in? This is the number one side control escape that I use. The best way to escape side control is to make sure it never happens. <laughs> All right, now, Let's look at this. This is going to help you get more arm bars because we're going to go over a failure analysis of why mine didn't work. And I find that the, the key way that people escape an arm bar is they posture up. Here, I should have went for the reverse arm bar and that would have rotated his arm in the opposite direction. He rotated his arm outward, which allowed him to then pull it out. A reverse arm bar while they're going this way, a reverse arm bar is gonna make them go this way. And you see how I had my arm all the way over? It's like I already was there and set up for that reverse arm bar, but I ended up going for another, just a, I wanted to go for a straight up arm bar, so I was going for his tricep, because once you get a grip on the tricep, then, then you have a secure arm attachment to be able to get your leg over and finish the arm bar. However, that's the same, direction reaching for that tricep it's the same direction as his rotation that allowed him to pull it out <laughs> well, we're just gonna keep on going whereas a reverse arm bar you end up pinning their arm between your shoulder and your chin and your jawline which which helps secure it and then you're going this direction and it's much difficult to pull out when you're extended like this than to have that elbow slip when you're like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that next time. It's always good to look at failures. Sometimes we can, you know, as humans, we're like, we like to stick to what's working and what, what we feel good at, which is typically what we're good at, but the only way to get better is to look at the failures. Um, especially if you find something's happening to you over and over and over again, that is a key opportunity to, to, to improve game. Real talk. All right, let's, let's keep on going. Okay, now next up, 
from open guard, do you see how I'm doing that like the little egg beater action? This is to prevent them getting a grip on the ankles and it's also almost like, um, do you know how we have that circle wrist grip break? It's the same concept. So now he's in my half guard and I'm just relaxing. <laughs> no, all right, so I have a knee shield and he's figuring out tr how to get past the knee shield and I tell him, underhook the leg, that way you can shelve it on your shoulder, which allows the pass. So if you're ever struggling against the knee shield, underhook it, that way you can shelve it. And here I have a Kimura grip on his left arm and this is called uh, T Kimura or Kimura trap game. So from here, I circled out to try to get his back. And now what I'm thinking is, okay, I have his head and I have his near side arm. Now is a perfect opportunity to get a triangle. And so I'm, I created the movement, the back and forth movement. That way I can at least get a top lock. And here I have the triangle, but my left leg isn't positioned on top of his shoulder, like a, like a, like a really tight triangle, you wanna be on their shoulder. So I'm clasping my hands together to increase the pressure of my right leg against his left carotid artery and his right shoulder against his right carotid artery. That's what creates, that's the pressure that creates the choke. But since this isn't working, I'm like, all right, let me, let me try something different. And let me know in the comments if this happens to you, but I find that the number one way somebody escapes my triangle is if they posture up really um, aggressively. So my number one focus here is to keep his posture broken. And I'm doing that by holding the back of his head and I'm holding his arm and I switch the lock of my triangle because that is the direction that he's trying to escape the triangle. And so when I switch the lock, he's already going in that direction and that is what allows the sweep because I'm going with, this is the gentle art in action. <laughs> I'm going with his movement instead of fighting against it. And this triangle sweep, I, um, this, these moves right here, if anytime you see a video from me in the description, you'll see a link to my BJJ Fanatics Mounted Triangle um, instructional and that these are the moves that you see in the instructional as well because I wanted to highlight you know what I do live not like theoretical jujitsu like my actual <laughs> game jujitsu all right so let's <laughs> let's go to the next section all right next I'm going to show you one of my favorite takedowns. This is a front headlock takedown, which is great for nogi. And it's also extremely low risk, meaning um, if you mess it up, you're not in a completely horrible position. The key here is to get a really good grip on his head and arm and get your torso on their back for that really good connection. From here, he learned. Do you see how he doesn't want to stick his arm between my legs? He's like, um, I'm all set with that arm bar. And look at this double leg. <laughs> I, I love that double leg. And now he is going into a, like a judo type side control, a case of Katami. And I have never done this escape before, but in my head from editing all these videos, I remember how any time somebody like an upper belt escaped from this position, I notice going to your knees is always seems like the thing to do. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so you can see how just getting to my knees here and extending my legs is what created the counterweight in order to get him to his back and for me to reverse the position and stay on top. And here we can see how I maintain top position. Do you see how I extend my legs f like far out when they're trying to bridge hard the other way? That way it creates that counterweight. So yeah, so that's the end of the roll. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. It was 
really, I loved creating this video. Um, it's so nice to have a creative outlet and I really appreciate, you know, your time and attention too. And I love, I love doing this. So, you know, keep training, you're doing great. Um, and remember that anytime that, and that failures are good and they make you grow. Um, and they, they definitely make me grow. <laughs> All right, until next time, love you, bye.